Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your little surprise. Um, okay, so the challenge was to um, do that last one, number three, uh, with the single band. Um, most of you, what you did was uh, just reduce the size of the surface, right? Just about every single one of you did that. Um, I would do that too, and that's fine for this kind of architecture where it's flat. Um, but what is really powerful about this uh, software is that it doesn't have to be on a flat surface. So if I had, um, let's draw a line here, um, make a copy of that thing, and let's rotate this a little bit. And we'll rotate this one a little bit like that. We're going to loft the two of them. OK, so I've got this surface here, right? It's totally warping. Um, and it's just not flat. It's the opposite of flat. Um, so what's neat about this is um, you can actually use the same definition for something like this. And uh, you can apply it to this surface as well. But what happens when you need a specific subset of that surface, but you can't break the surface? That's the key. Um, so what happens is um, you need to then select what subdivisions you're going to operate on. Um, so let me just kind of reduce this a little bit so it's easier to see. So I've got um, nine panels on here. Um, and I need to figure out which ones I need uh, to create that single band. So let's say I want that middle band. Um, I can go to, um, let's go to surface and um, analysis, and we're going to look at those, um, those panels and what number they are. So 0 to 5.0. There we go. So um, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I wanted it to be um, in a different orientation so I could get three numbers in the middle that were um, aligned, I should be able to just use flip matrix. Actually, I don't know if that'll work. That won't work here, I don't think. Well, let's just do it the um, analog way. So, um, so really what I want are 1, 4, and 7. Okay. So I'm going to do um, list item, right? You guys remember that? That was what I was saying about, you know, you got to remember everything we did today and then think back to how do you isolate things. Um, so we're going to do a list item. And uh, this time I'm actually going to create a panel that has multiple numbers. Um, so the panel's going to operate a little differently when you have multiple numbers because you need to then... And this, this was kind of the little piece that I d haven't taught you yet, and I'm kind of glad that you guys didn't struggle with it, because um, now I'm thinking about it, you never would have gotten it. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're going to do um, 1, 4, and 7. And then the difference here is you've got to turn off multi-line data so that it becomes a, an index list, right? Because we were talking about that syntactical error, right, when you change it to multi-line text. <laughs> <clears throat> it becomes text, not numbers. But if you turn off multi-line data, then it becomes numbers in a list. Um, so we can take that list and plug it into the index here, and we're going to get all three of those. So now we just insert that here, and we get a center band. Pretty cool, right? Um, not that difficult. Also not that accurate. So like it works for this, but what happens if I change the number of panels? I get that. So um, there are smarter ways of doing this. Um, we're going to do it with uh, domain reductions, but I did want to show you just a quick analog way to get a desired result from something that is an irregular plane and why you would need to do it that way because Sometimes when you're modeling your buildings, you can't break this surface and delete pieces of it. Okay. Um, so other than that, what questions do you have? Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's kind of off topic, but I made um, all these already, but I, I forgot to rotate them. 
that's fine. So how, how do I rotate them along with the uh, um, The cool thing is all you have to do is just rotate it. It'll go with it. You guys are, I can see that you guys are impressed with this software already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Um, okay, so I was going to show you, like, the domain reduction thing, but I think, like, with 15 minutes left in class, basically, I'm just going to leave it at this, and then we'll start doing, like, some normal stuff, because that's going to get a little bit more complex and lead into a, a different conversation. Okay? So that's it for tonight. Uh, feel free to keep working on this, and, and um, maybe you can even try this before you take off. And then I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Huh? No homework. I'm not really much of a homework person. Oh, so um, just a heads up, guys. Um, <coughs> this particular class, like, it's going to be really intense in terms of lecture up front. Um, so we're going to, like, and I hope you guys can keep your energy high enough not to fall asleep when I'm lecturing for, like, the entire three hours for, like, the first four to six weeks of this class. Um, but with this type of stuff, like, you, you pick this one up well enough, and that's great. Um, but, like, it's you've got to have a really strong foundation before I can let you guys start doing things creatively. So, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty front-loaded on the lecture stuff, and then, like, it'll lighten up and start to taper off kind of exponentially toward the last couple weeks. Okay? Just giving you the lay of the land. Uh, so you're rotating. Oh, because you don't have you're not rotating the surface. You have to show the surface. Yeah. Uh, not that surface, but the surface in the I'm still recording.